Hi, you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Who's excited? Vogue Patterns just released their brand new fall sewing patterns. They released these last night, this morning, and I have been doing everything I can to avoid looking at them so that I could maintain my first impression um, honesty with you guys. But truthfully, I am so excited. Um, I think Vogue is the collection I look forward to the most. Um, I don't know, something about the Vogue patterns that just get me very excited. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Um, it looks like we have an Anne Klein jacket and pants. Okay, so it's kind of like a modified trench a little bit with, I don't know, what is this, like a flouncy, ruffly thing? That's kind of cool. I'm sort of hard to see the details with the fabric choice. Let's look at some line drawings. So, um, okay. So yeah, we've got, I don't know, does it, I guess it, semi-fitted lined jacket has snap closures. So I don't know where the snaps live, but it looks like it's like partially open maybe. I don't know. Again, it's really hard to tell. The details look kind of cool. I like this little swoopy thing. These like a trench coat don't bother me. I love a sleeve belt, <laughs> sleeve buckle thing. Um, the collar looks nice and like it is, uh, like it has a collar stand and like the, you know, very professional collar. Um, we've got a shaping detail here, two part sleeve, which is awesome. Um, and some shaping in the back, which is great. I love the cropped, like how short it is. That's really cute. And then just some basic flat front, fly front pants. I do like the little rounded um, pocket. I like that it's not a slash, like a diagonal. Those can those don't work well for people with larger hips. They just gap open. But these little rounded ones, kind of like denim, kind of like jeans, um, they do really well. So these look like they are um, kind of like a slim leg. Super cute. And turn up the brightness. Maybe we can see that better. This is a really cute outfit. I like that. Okay. Next up, we have a Paco Peralta, Peralta dress. Ooh, look the zip from the top and from the bottom. Very sexy. Oh, interesting. What was there a, oh, it starts right here and kind of like scoops down. This does seem a little low to me, right? Like, don't you feel like you want it to be like up here somewhere? Yeah, um, but we've got some back darts, which is cool. And there's very little shaping. Look how cool it looks completely zipped up, though. Love that neckline so much. Um, but because there's no, like, I don't know if, if we're getting, like, the right kind of shaping in the back. Yeah, it is really low. It is supposed to come down that low. I don't know how well that would work for me since I have such, like, I don't really have a sway back necessarily, but I mean, there is like a definite swoop there. And I just feel like that would cause like a lot of fit issues. I mean, even she has a little bit of them, you know, I feel like that would be very exaggerated on me, but I am obsessed with this. This is so cool. I would maybe try and take that and convert it and convert a different skirt. Maybe, I don't know. It's a lot of work. Especially in a Vogue pattern, a Vogue um, designer pattern, because, you know, they are, like, the instructions come just for this, and they are so well done. You really don't want to deviate from that. I don't know. Maybe it would work. It does look really sharp. 
That's just too cool, I think. Too cool. Okay. Now we have... Oh, I wanted to see... Sorry to go back, but... I did want to see about the fabric. Is that like a Ponte? Um, yeah, PK Ponte knit denim or wool crepe. So they're stable knits or wovens is really kind of what they're going for there. That's really cool. At a Ponte would be awesome. At a Ponte, the maybe the back would be a little more forgiving, you know, because it would have some more stretch to it. I mean, not a ton, but a little bit. Um, okay, so now we've got a Badgley Mishka dress. Okay. Very nice. I could see this being like, you know, a semi-casual, semi-formal um, holiday dress. It's got um, dolman sleeves. I, I think this is a dart or maybe a pleat. Maybe it's a pleat with like a little side seam sort of. Um, and then we've got back darts. This is what I feel like that Paco Peralta dress is missing, like some shaping back here. Um, and then just, yeah, like a pencil skirt kind of tapers in at the bottom with a little pleat or a little slit in the back. It's cute. I don't know if it's for me. I don't know though, because sometimes when you have like larger hips, to have like a more full bodice can be flattering because then it's like bigger up here, super small in the waist, and then bigger down here. Um, I, you know, I just get so nervous about pencil skirts. They're just usually not my favorite on me. You know, I guess maybe, is it an insecurity? I don't know if I feel insecure so much as I just don't feel comfortable. Okay, this is another Badgley Mishka. This is up my alley. Look at those sleeves. That's cool. This is a really cool party dress. It's just a skater dress, you know, like a basic fit and flare with a set in sleeve and this huge flouncy sleeve addition. Um, it's only got bust darts, no darts here or in the back. Um, sequin mesh lace jacquard. So pretty stable, non-stretch fabrics they're recommending there. Um, the mesh will have some stretch to it, but oh, a sequin dress. I don't know about that. But yeah, jacquard for sure. Uh, brocade, absolutely. Um, if you can find a lighter weight brocade for you know the drape of the circle skirt and the drape of the sleeve, that would be really cute. Um, yeah, I mean, it is pretty basic. Pretty basic. Um, okay, now we've got Tracy Reese. She's got a cute little top with some pin tucks and like a chain detail. It looks like a forward shoulder. Um, scooped hem pockets. There's a lot going on in this tunic. Yoke on the back. Uh, Cuffed sleeve. Hmm. It's not my style, personally. You know, it's a little too womanly for me, I think. I'm not quite there yet. This looks cute. Julio Caesar. Cesar. That's fun. So you guys know you buy all these little appliques and rope things and contrasting fabrics and you match it all together yourself. It's actually a little overwhelming to think about finding all of these different elements and making sure they all go together. But the shape of the coat, even if you don't do all of this embellishment, is really cute. 
like see how it's short here and then long here. Am I right? Oh no. Is it even more different down here? Here, I need to see a different picture. That's really cute from the back too. Oh, there it is. The shape is really cool. I like the shape a lot. Um, and you could find, it's easy to find bias bindings, like either make your own or you can find leather bias bindings in some trim stores. Um, so you could do a simple embellishment in that regard. But I just love this swoopy neckline. But look at this line drawing with all these different fabrics. Yeek. Yeah, you have to like really be able to have a an eye for detail to be able to pull that off, I think. But it sure would be fun. It sure would be fun. They did a good job with this one. Let's look what the yardage looks like. Medium white woolens, boiled wool, contrast, shantung, sequin fabric, broadcloth. And then, yeah, see, you have all these contrasts. And then, do they have anything? Oh, notions. One snap, one button, four yards of double fold bias tape, and one skein, skein of yarn. I guess that's what that is. Yeah, I would probably figure out a way to do it all in one. Or at the very least, like, you could do, like, a black, like, I don't know, wool, for example. And then find other black fabrics that are textured. Like, you could find a jacquard or a sequin or, like, a metallic brocade, you know. and ha But if it were all black or all one color, maybe that would be easier to wrap my head around. But it would still be interesting. I don't know. That's kind of very inspirational. It makes me, makes my wheels turn. This one is Today's Fit by Sandra Batsina. It's like a harnessy coat dress and top. I'm down for a coat dress. Uh, oh, there's the dress. I've seen this. This must be from Joanne. Yeah, these fabrics aren't... I'm not really feeling the fabric choice. I'm trying to just analyze the shape. The coat is cute. Um, I don't hate the quilted. I just am not a zebra. I don't know. Do I like... See how it's like a harnessy thing and then it wraps around to the back? I just don't know if I like that. Let me see. Yeah, there she is. It looks like, yeah, a backpack from the front. <laughs> Am I right? Does not look like a padded shoulder strap? Hmm. The shape is cute, though. Okay, here we've got another Sandra Batsina pattern. This is a blouse and pant. I mean, that looks more like a jacket to me, but... Right? Look at those pockets. That's kind of cool. Mm. <laughs> Show us the pant. We don't even ever get to see the waistband of the pant. That's so annoying. They do that in ready to wear too. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. So were these knit pants? Medium weight wovens. Or A and B. And C is moderate stretch knits like Ponty. So yeah, it's a knit pant. Um, they're just pull on. You know, like yoga pants. 
but with a little bit of a flare and or this detail. I actually do like this detail in a knit ponty. I'm trying to see on her like how fitted are they? I think Sandra's patterns are typically they have a little bit more ease in them but it's still really hard to tell. But a ponty pant is a really cool idea. I like this. I do. Okay. Um, okay, now we've got an asymmetrical hem tunic and really baggy pants. Mm. I know this isn't for me just simply because like this girl's probably like a size two and her hips look gigantic because it's so small up here and then flares out over pants. It's just like not flattering. I mean, even the drawing looks like it has big hips. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. The concept's okay, but that would just would never look good on me. Never, never. But I might lengthen it and make it a dress. Would that be cuter than putting it over pants? What do the pants even look like? They are elastic, elasticized backs. At least they have some darts in the front. The uh, ponty pants did not have that. So these must be woven. The pants actually might not be horrible. See. Oh, again, you can't really see anything because they're the pictures are so bad. Oh, I want to be able to see. Like I can't even see the hem. Still can't see the hem. I don't even know how wide they go. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Easy options. Custom fit. Custom fit is where they have the different busts. I believe. So this is a maxi with a very large, uh, like dramatic sleeve. There's a, oh, there's a different sleeve option there, but also there is, um, princess seams and a center front seam, which is really fun to play up stripes. Interesting dart and then princess seam skirt. Deep V front. Cute, right? That one's pretty. Even that one's really cute with the sleeve placket. Oh, a flutter sleeve. This one's got a ton of options, which is cool. It's not that deep. It looks deeper in the drawings, I think. Pretty sleeve. Look how well it fits up here. Cute. Little keyhole back, but I think that your bra strap would still be hidden. I know that's important to some people. Cool. All maxi links, I think, or maybe these are shorter. It's sort of really hard to tell. I think that one will do really well for them this year. I think a lot of people will buy that. Cute. Okay. Now we've got a very easy Vogue. Wrap dress. Yes. Dolman sleeve. A couple of buttons. And is that like a pleat or a, a dart? Oh, man. That looks like a robe. I don't think so. There's just too much volume up here. Too much fabric, too much ease. 
Yeah. Not funny. Yeah, I mean, I want to like it. I, I don't hate the line drawing, but yeah, she, uh, I just don't. I think this is like a suiting fabric, though. I, I can't even think of another fabric that it would look better in. Maybe if it were shorter. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Not that inspiring or exciting. All right. Now this, on the other hand, is very exciting. Look at those sleeves. Hello. Sleeves with a, like, flounce and a bow? Are you kidding? A freaking adorable. And, you guys, I'm about to scream with excitement and happiness. Look what I just spotted. Fish eye darts on the back. Oh my gosh. It's like the shift dress of my dreams. So we've got this super bus dart here to give shaping in the front. And then these super awesome fish eye darts in the back and these sleeves that are to die for. Look, you guys don't see them on a human being very often, but that's what they do. Oh, too cool. Obviously, too, you could add this sleeve detail to any sleeve. I mean, you don't have to buy this pattern just to put a bow on it, but that was really cute. Really, really cute. Neckline's nice. Kind of like a modified boat neck. Honestly, I'm surprised not to see more of that since Meghan Markle was doing so much of that and continues to do so much of that. Um, she's really made like the bateau neckline. Um, she's like really brought it back. Okay, this is a jacket, skirt, and pants. Very basic, but I do like all of this that's happening. Right? I mean, you can totally see she has a waist. So that's cool. Other than that, it's kind of just like a basic blazer. Right? Yeah. <laughs> There's really not much to say about it. Um, I do. So there are a few details that I like. One being the princess seam. Plus this extra little dart here, the little angled pockets. That's all really cute. And I do like those details. It has a little um, dart in the sleeve. This allows your, you can kind of tell here. See how it's creating a natural bend in the um, sleeve? Because that's how your arm bends. So that's nice. And then these, you know, really great princess seams on the back as well. And then the skirt's just... Kind of a skirt, pants, same side zipper. Only one dart on each side in the back. I prefer two. Um, so yeah, that's that. This she just looks too young for this. This looks old, tired. But I guess you never can. You can never have like. It's not, what I'm trying to say is it's nice to have like a tailored blazer in your pattern collection. I think this would be a good one. Um, so for that reason, I guess it's okay. <laughs> this one's cool though. This is like a, you know, drop shoulder sleeve kind of kimono-y wrap coat. That's cool. It reminds me of that dress, the McCall's dress we just saw. Oh, that there it is, monochromatic. That's kind of cool. I don't know about it with these pants, but 
something's off with the proportions here. Like, she looks cool. Maybe it's the length. Or they're not tapered enough on her. Something, something's not right with this. But either way, the coat is cool. I would wear that coat for sure. Oh, elastic? All around elastic? Eek. Well, I wish it would be comfortable. All right, here we've got Vogue Easy Options. Cardigan or jacket. So these sleeves are super cute. I love this little wraparound detail. It's like collarless, which is nice. We've got a little dart right here. A little big in the sleeve though, if I do say so myself. And then we've got this other exaggerated sleeve. Cute. So yeah, this is a cropped version and then a little bit of a longer version. Cropped version again with no sleeve details, longer version with no sleeve details. Yeah, that's cool. I would make the shorter version just because things falling like right here on me, it's just like the widest, literally the widest part of my entire body. So it creates like a line, you know, a horizontal line. It's like, look how wide it is. I don't want that. I want it up here, you know, especially for such a lightweight, like it's pretty much like a layering piece. You know, it's not actually a jacket. What kind of fabrics are they recommending, I wonder? Crepe, wool, flannel, gabardine, and linen blends. Mm. This is the crepe. Oh, gosh, I'm trying to even think. Yeah, I mean, I guess a lightweight wool. I'd have to really think about fabric choice there. I do like it in a solid, but a print could be cute, too. Like a print like stripes or gingham or, you know, something not too crazy. But this floral one that they showed, where was it? Eh, I don't know. Oh, and shoulder pads. I didn't realize she had those. But, yep, there they are. Shoulder pads are not bad. Like, don't knock them. They do create a nice frame here um, for the rest of the drapiness of the fabric to kind of fall. So I don't knock shoulder pads. Um, just like I think in the 80s, they went like a little crazy with the shoulder pads. Too big, too wide. You know what I mean? Okay, look at her. It's like a lace with eyelet trim. Okay. I can get behind that. There it is in its basic form. Forward shoulder with a little bit of gathering, a little uh, mandarin collar, and a hidden placket. Two sleeves. Very Gucci. Maybe that was the inspiration for this. There she is with some big sleeves. Cute with a little bow ribbon, maybe. <laughs> it's very Dollywood. Like, hello, I am here. That's kind of nice. Again, going back to what I was saying, I don't I can't remember what first impression video it was at this point, but the traditional with a twist. There's just a, I mean, the trim industry must be getting such a kick out of all these patterns with all these trims featured. There's, it's definitely more than I've ever seen in um, one collection. Between the McCall's like baby doll dress that had all those different trims, that jacket we saw earlier in this video, and now this. Very nice fitting. 
Got a yoke with some gathering. Look at the shaping is nice through here. Yep, lots of options. I could see some cute stuff happening. I don't know about the black and white, but I could I could see some people uh, making some really cool options out of this. Ironically, I think this is my favorite. I really do. Okay. Now we've got, oh look, it's like a new and improved toaster sweater. <laughs> right? Isn't that exactly what it looks like? It is super chic. I love this collar. And just kind of the shape of it in general. Some nice shaping detail on the sleeve here. I think this is a two-part sleeve, and I think it might have pockets here along this seam. Yeah, that's really chic. And then we've got it without the collar. Is that? Okay, so it's definitely a two-part sleeve. Hmm. With a dart. I think she looks really cool. I love the cream and white. I just think that is just the coolest look in the winter. Nice. I like this top. I like the sleeve. The The sleeve is very interesting. It It is improved on the toaster sweater, which just has like basic sleeves. These are very high fashion. Okay, another button up, Catherine Bren. Oh, with some interesting buttons. Oh, look at that collar. It's like a wavy collar. Two princess seams, front yoke. Are these pleats or darts? And then some interesting detail down here too. Wow, there is a lot going on here. With the three buttons and the one button. Y'all like that? Is that cool? It's kind of interesting. This collar is a no. Right? <laughs> I don't know about that. It's a very big collar. Both of them are very big. Oh, and buttons down the back. Well... I, it's one of those I think could be cool. I don't hate either one of them. Hate, I would not have made the same choices. I think mostly it's just with the like the red button here. Like I wouldn't have done that. I think you can elevate the look a little bit, make it a little less costumey if you eliminated some of these, like this red button, the red threading on the buttons, you know, those bar tacks um being out of a contrast thread you know you could make it a little less like a costume but yeah look at those sleeves that's very interesting this one's supposed to have a oh it is lower in the back but wait Oh, they both are. I didn't realize that at first. See, it's like a tuxedo. Hmm, interesting. That looks like a placket to me. Like it actually unbuttons if you want it to, which is interesting. Okay, Marcy Tilton. A little sweater. Is that like a zip, I guess? Yeah, with like... A hood, maybe? I see some drawstring and some athletic mesh. Okay. Oh, that's nice. It is a hood. I kind of like this for, like, casual, wear it over jeans, like, I don't know. Is that, do y'all like this? I think I like it. It's hard to tell exactly what's happening here. There's definitely a drawstring going through it, but 
can you wear it as a hood? Loose fitting pullover tops have front pockets, back casing with tight neckline and contrast variations is all they're going to give me. Huh. I like it. I think it's a cool pullover. I would wear it. I like this version a lot more than just the sweater. But yeah, out of like a uh, double knit or... What are they recommending? Ponty fleece sweater knits double knits. Yeah, cool. I think it's cool. Okay, now we've got a cute little dress, also from Marcy Tilton. Kind of like an asymmetrical hem, dolman sleeve. Um, is that it? I don't, I don't really see a waistband or waist seam even. See, this is how you do velvet. This looks a thousand times better than anything we saw in the McCall's. Wasn't that the one that had all the bad velvet outfits? Oh, look, it's is that contrast? Is that like Ponty? I think it is, but I can't tell. Yeah, that's definitely different. Interesting. Oh, see, they did a little stripe there. That's cool. Huh. Yeah, there is the contrast right there. That's neat. I mean, obviously you don't have to do it out of a contrast fabric. You could do it out of the same, but I think they did a good job with both of them um, pairing the fabrics. And I don't think it would be that hard for you to do at home. Certainly not like that jacket. Like this has, you know, black and gray in it. So they just pulled out a black and gray stripe, right? And this is easy. This is just, you know, tone on tone. Um, but with different textures, it's easy to play up texture in the same color. Cool. I don't hate that one either. I don't know if it's going to make it into my pattern stash, but it's cool. What do we have here? Catherine Brand, Mrs. Top Tunic and Pants. That is a leather baby doll dress and I am here for it. I think that is super cute. Here is our top and pants. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, okay. E Actually, now I'm a little less here for it. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's because now I'm seeing it as a jumper maybe and this is just too open. I don't know. I liked it a lot more in the first picture. I mean, I could see it like, you know, a little turtleneck with a leather dress over top. That's cute. I don't like this fabric with all the psychedelic green and purple flowers, but out of something, you know, black with a black um, rib knit or something like that could be, you know, basic, but cute. See, look how here. Okay. I knew I wasn't losing my mind. Okay. Notice this, how it's like close to her arm side and fits well, right? But up here, Was that it? Well, maybe it is fine. <laughs> I don't know. It looks different to me. It looks less cute. That looks cute. And that other picture did not look as cute. I don't know why. I can't figure out. It's just the angle maybe. 
just the angle. But I think that the concept of, you know, a cigarette knit elasticated waist, um, I guess, princess seam pant with a turtleneck with a little dress over top, which they're calling a tunic, um, is a cute idea. But I don't like the pants with the dress over it. I like tights like they have here, but in different fabrics. Even the over the knee boot is really cute. The pants could be good for something else. They don't look terrible here, to be honest. They look really good on her. I like how slim they are. Um, this line is really nice if you can get it to be straight. <laughs> um, this is just steep. I don't like that fabric. All right, here we are with a little asymmetrical jacket. Hello, holiday party. Office holiday party. When you're like the partner in the law firm's wife, right? <laughs> Drinking martinis or something. Oh, getting a little bit of an 80s vibe off of this in the line drawings. But yeah, I mean, really great shaping here, two-part sleeve. This, this is just very 80s. But it could be cute out of like a um, boucle, maybe. Wooden buttons or something, you could cash it up. All right, now we've got a dress, custom fit again. Ooh, that's kind of cool. And the sleeves are cool. I don't know, that's interesting to me. As is that. I like that less. <laughs> Let's just say I like that less. I like that less. But her, I like her a lot. This neckline is really, um, I think, universally flattering, you know, and in its own way, I find it to be slimming. Um, like, you know, they don't have any pictures of it on a human being, so it's really hard to totally tell. But yeah, I could make, I could see myself making this one for sure. I'd make it a little bit shorter. I don't do the mid calf. I would do like just below the knee or even at the knee. This open sleeve is, I like that idea. This just with the huge long cuff, I don't know about that. And then that could be cute in the right fabric. You know, I'm not sure doing it all in a solid. She looks kind of like a blueberry. But side seam pockets. Um, the same darts in the back as the front, no darts in the skirt. It's a circle, some kind of circle skirt, maybe half. Yeah. Custom fit though. Ooh. I swear you guys, anything with a bow, I don't care. You could slap a bow on a pig and I would think it was the cutest thing ever. This bow with the hood. Yeah. Totally. And this like, what, what sleeve with, they're doing this a lot with this, like, is it a balloon? Balloon sleeve? Is that what it is? Um, I love it. There's a longer one without a hood, more just a collar. Oh, and there she is. I guess that's just a longer version. The line drawings look ridiculous, but she looks really cute. <laughs> so you just got to hope that you don't look like an Oompa Loompa or a, um, I don't know, it kind of just looks like a shapeless, big, voluminous balloon with the hood up and everything. But raglan sleeves with possibly, is that a? dart there maybe which just gives shaping to the shoulder which is nice because there's not any shaping anywhere else 
We've got two darts here. We've got a couple darts here. Side pockets. Uh, well, they say side pockets here, but this looks like they're in the front. <clears throat> um, anyways, a couple darts here. That is really it. I think this is how it closes too. They're not really saying if there's buttons or anything. Let's go see what the notions call for. Very loose fitting hooded coats, snap closures. So if you didn't want it to be as close fit or as loose fitting, you could size down a couple, which would help if it were a little bit more just slimming, skimming your figure rather than like 14 sizes too big for your figure. Just four snap closures, lightweight woolens, ponty knit or flannel. I don't know. I would make it out of a coating or anything really. You can even do this out of fleece, which would be really kind of cool, but hot. No pun intended. So I guess the snaps are, I don't know, in here somewhere. Does it even say what size? Nope. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow, a lot of fabric. Yeah, like, and I make a 14 in dresses usually. I might even size down to a small here. Okay. Very cute idea, though, with the hood and bow. Uh oh, we're getting close to the end. Yep, and then just one men's shirt, which we don't usually review men's shirts, but <laughs> I love male models. Um, but we'll just flip through them really quickly so you can see. Can I just say the length of this is really nice if you're going to wear it untucked. There's nothing I hate more than when guys wear their button downs untucked and they're like way down here. I'm like, no, let me hem that for you, please. The fabric contrast is interesting um okay so there we have it that is our vogue fall first impression and i think with this comes the end of the big four the end of the big four fall patterns they've all been released we've done um We've done all four of them. Simplicity, well, Simplicity, Butterick, New Look. Or did they do Butterick yet? Maybe not. Um, definitely McCall's, definitely Vogue, obviously. Um, but I can't remember if we've done Butterick or not. Either way, I am going to um, put at the end slate of this video uh, the playlist of all the first impressions that I've done. So that you guys can look, if you've somehow missed um, any of the other fall first impressions that I've done, they'll all be in that playlist so you guys can watch them there. Um, and I'll keep an eye out because we will have, I feel like winter coming pretty soon. Some of the design, some of the companies even do like early fall, late fall. So, or early fall and then a fall slash winter. So we might have some coming out sooner rather than later, but um, for now, that's going to do it for me, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.